30 seconds. All right. They have, they have number one draft choices every year. People leaving early and they, they can't even have a winning season. Everybody, right? Yeah. I just want to thank you. This is an amazing group of people. We love you. We're doing so well. The Pulse just came out. We're killing everybody, so that's good. You're standing in the AARP section. Right You're a member. Me too. Hey, thanks for having me. There's a lot of red in this crowd. What happened to the... Thank you very much, Kyrie. I appreciate it. Thank you all for coming out today. Uh, in keeping with uh, what I'd like to do, which is uh, engage in, in, in question and answers, I'm going to sort of dispense uh, with any introductory remarks so we can jump right into your questions. And so I, I'm a, I'm sorry, I'm a little bit late. Uh, by the way, great weather. Uh, <laughs> I want to thank you for that. But I was just talking to the sheriff because. Uh, <laughs> And, you know, that's one of the things I hope that you will notice about the Republican candidates. Uh, you know, they're good people, and uh, they're willing to work together. What a great day this morning was, out there on a Harley Davidson, riding by the heartland of America, looking at a car crop that's going to be a bumper crop, smelling that hay that's been cut. That is what America is all about, ladies and gentlemen. Freedom is not some abstract concept we read about in the book. Freedom is real, it's personal. Mm -hmm. We think about it in our families. We are living at a time of extraordinary challenges. We're living at a time of urgency. The Houthi rebels are backed by Iran. So many in Congress are saying, we have to counter Iran in Yemen. Well, to do so, we'd be on the side of Al-Qaeda. <laughs> Yeah. Iran's trying to kill Al Qaeda. I'm like, let's buy popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine you traveled thousands of miles in the blazing sun. You're swimming across the Rio Grande. 
and the first thing you see is 90,000 IRS agents. <laughs> you turn around and go home too. Chuck Rashley was here today, you know why? Pretty good. <laughs> you know, I'm having a little problem with one of the candidates for president because he, <laughs> well look, I mean, if you're, gonna, if you're going to attack women, if you're going to attack and, 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 uh, and attack Hispanics, if you're going to attack Muslims, if you're going to attack somebody who, who has a disability, that's not what we want in a leader, is it? I don't think anybody wants that. I had a little girl at a town hall in Nevada, raise your hand, I called on her. She stood up and she said, if you're the girl president, will you get paid the same as the boy president? <laughs> I thought about that for a few seconds. I said, yeah, I think so. Because I was a governor, a reform-minded governor, that improved things. Our income grew at 4.5%, 4.4% every year. All over the world. I know most of the world leaders on the stage today, not because I had total access to them, but because I know them. Because they are the leaders of the world. You have to be responsible with your spending. You got you. You have to lower taxes to the point where we have incentives for people to work hard or businesses to invest. And finally, you can't snuff snuff people out with regulation. The XL pipeline. Use all of American energy. Drive down that cost of electricity. Do it now. Do it now. Cut that corporate tax rate. A lot of people want to be entrepreneurs, but sometimes I say go to work for somebody for a little while, even if it's a couple of years, and get yourself. Again, the word acclimated, get yourself used to what you're doing a little bit. Because starting off, you know, we're all like Too many students that are caught between the rock and the hard place. They can go to college, struggle to get by, and face crippling debts when they get out. Or they can forego college and face that loss of economic opportunity and mobility that we talked about before. We need an America where a single mom that's working as a receptionist has the chance, while she works, and while she raises her family, to also go back to school. Online, on nights, and on weekends. So instead of making nine dollars an hour, she can make sixty thousand dollars a year as a paralegal or a dental hygienist or one of these other jobs. That well, we now have a situation this year where the national debt will be greater than our GDP. We sadly are on a road now that will lead our country to decline. And, and the truth be told, both parties are to blame for this. Leaders in both parties that are completely out of touch with what life is like for real people in everyday life. What it's like to live paycheck to paycheck. His men and women who come up to me, they put their hand on my shoulder and they say, Ted, I'm scared. I'm scared that we're bankrupt in our country. I'm scared that our constitutional liberties are being taken away. I'm scared for the future of my kids and grandkids. I'm finding people who are working Now the other side, their answer to everything is let's go back to trickle down economics. Now I thought that was a bad idea in the 1980s, right up there with new coke and big hair and shoulder pads. And I don't want to go back to the 1980s and the failed economic policies of that time. Medicare and Social Security are going to be overwhelmed by the retirement of baby boomers. I was born in 1955. People from 46 to 64 are the baby boom generation. Anybody in that generation? And when the scientific community tells us that climate change is real, that it is already causing devastating problems in our country and around the world, whether Exxon Mobil likes it or not, we are going to transform our energy system away from fossil fuel. There I said, what's the difference between regulators and locusts? I said, well, the thing is, you can't use pesticide on the regulators. <laughs> And this old West Texas farmer, he leaned back, said, Want to bet? Folks, I want you to understand. I don't want to be president so I can create jobs in China. I want to be president so we can create good jobs in America for Americans. And that's why we need a tax code to stop penalizing Americans. 
We need to change our anti-poverty program so that everyone that's on is either working or going to school so they can find a good paying job and never depend on the government again. The only way you can save this country is to have a president who will leave the Republicans and Democrats in the room and do a moderate until the bill hit back in the 80s. That's find a way to save this country. I know it is a radical idea to say that elections should be fought based on ideas, not based on billionaires buying candidates. But we've gotten to the point in this country where if somebody doesn't think the way I think, we question their patriotism, we question their motives. We don't want to live like that. I want to be the party of Patrick Henry. You know, the party that with passion defends all of the Bill of Rights for rich, poor, white, black. I also want to be the party that has hope and optimism for all of us. And I think of, uh, there's a painter by the name of Robert Henry, and he said, paint like a man coming over the hill singing. That's the kind of optimism we need. We need to have a very good message to the world about who we are. Equality of women, respect for science, respect for education, that life is about something bigger than ourselves. We are not so cynical. We are not so small-minded. This is not a failing business. This is the United States of America. And we have 240 years of creative service still ahead of us. Our enduring symbol is not barbed wire or razor fences. It is the Statue of Liberty. We are all in this together, and I need your help. Thank you. You had the first caucus. I mean, you, you, know, you made a big difference here in Iowa. At this time in previous presidential elections, the polls, the pundits, and the money said that Jimmy Carter couldn't win, Ronald Reagan couldn't win, Bill Clinton couldn't win, and Barack Obama couldn't win, and they all started winning here in Iowa. Okay? Here we go, here's the chorus. Iowa, Iowa, winter, spring, summer, or fall. Come, see, come dance with me to the beautiful Iowa Wall. Good. Good luck, everybody. Have a good time. Thank you. Thank you.